in this picture you see a dot that's here, that's home, that's us. On it is everybody you've ever heard of. In fact, every person who has ever lived, lived out their entire life, all their lives on that tiny dot suspended in the best cosmic darkness, emptiness of nothing. Every human being who's ever lived, the aggregate of all our joys and sufferings. Thousands of confident religions, ideologies, economic doctrines, every hunter and forager, every hero and coward, every creator and destroyer of civilizations, every king and peasant, every young couple in love, every hopeful child, every mother and father, every inventor and explorer, every teacher of morals, every corrupt politician, every superstar, every supreme leader, every saint and sinner in the history of our species lived out their lives on that note of dust, suspended in nothing. The earth is a very small stage in a vast cosmic wasteland. Think of the rivers of blood spilled by those generals and emperors and kings and queens and politicians as they now call them so that in glory and in triumph they could become momentarily masters of a tiny fraction of the surface of that dot think of the endless cruelties visited by the inhabitants of one corner of the dot upon the inhabitants of another scarcely distinguishable and yet how eager they are to kill how fervent their hatred our posturings, our imagined self-importance, the delusion that we have some privileged position in the universe, are challenged by this point of pale light. Sometimes, sometimes I've been said to be humbling. It's not my fault there is so much more out there than you think about every day. So much more out there that you could see so much more out there that you could do, that you could think, that you could experience. So much more out there that there just is. And yet it all seems so empty. And yet it all seems that you think about such a tiny fraction. But I don't blame you. Because we are limited to this. We are challenged by this point of pale light.